Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to capture web UI elements and also we have seen how to rename or delete UI elements. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with web automation actions by using these UI elements to fill web forms. All right, before starting that, I will show you that project over here. Along with that, I will show you there are few simple steps that I will make you to understand for web form filling. Now, if you see over here, I'm having few steps which are going to be using manually to fill the data in the forms. First one, launch browser and provide the link to open. So what we are going to do, so what are the respective URL or the link that we have to fill the web form, we are going to select that browser. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select Google Chrome at the launch browser, clicking on that. And then I'm going to give my URL, that is localhost slash employeeregistration.html. In your scenario, what you will do, you will give the respective URL, which are already there deployed on the internet. All right. Now I'm going to select registration form localhost slash employeeregistration.html. Once we launch and provide the link to open, that what we will do, we'll fill the required details over here. As what are the details that we have? You can see over here, I'm having a text box. I'm going to provide name over here as Amir Basha and the employee number that I will provide some number over here. And after that, I will give gender over here in the text, in the radio button. That is, I will provide mail. And after that, if you see the departments, I'm going to select software department. And I will give in the text area, like what are the address I will provide it over there on the contact number. I will give some contact number over here. And if you see the job location, I'm having drop down over here. I will select drop down for the job location and the designation. I will select project manager. All right. And after that, I will provide my email ID over here, basha.amir86. And then I'm going to click on submit. And after that, you got the message, thank you. This is how I'm going to fill manually. If you observe over here what we have done, first we have focused and provide the text in the employee name. That is the first step what we have done for the test box. All right. Second one, we have selected the radio buttons from I'm having male and female. From that, I have selected one of the radio button. And after that, if you see the check boxes, I'm having check boxes where you can select multiple options. Like I have selected only software that you can select medical software also from the check boxes. And after that, if you observe job location is the drop down, what we have done, we have selected the location from the drop down. And once it has been all the details have been filled, then we have clicked on submit button. This is how you are going to fill manually the data into the web forms. And once the data has been entered successfully and after clicking on submit, we are going to close the browser. These are the few simple steps that what we have while you are going to fill the data. The same steps that I will follow while I'm going to automate using web automation by using Power Automate Desktop. All right. Now in this session, what I'm going to do, I will explain web form fillings as well as the different launch browsers that I'm having. I will explain you along with the properties. All right, let's get started to implement the project. Now I have already created a flow with the name of web automation. Now as a first step, we need to launch the browser. As we discussed earlier, Power Automate Desktop supports four browsers. That is one Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. Based on your requirement that you are going to select the browser. If you see over here, I'm having these four actions over here. One is launch new Internet Explorer whenever you are going to use the browser as Internet Explorer. Or you can use launch new Firefox or launch new Chrome or launch new Edge. Now, this application I'm developing based on the compatibility of that so that I'm going to select Google Chrome over here. Let me drag and drop this launch new Chrome onto the workspace as a first step. Now, 
we'll see the properties of this launch new chrome now if you see over here i'm having the parameters launch mode over here what it is asking if you are already having one of the running instance nothing but if you are having any google chrome which is already in running instance then you are going to attach that instance over here or you need to launch a new instance so in the real time scenario every time that you are going to launch new chrome as well as we are going to close that browser all right so that what we are going to do right now to make you understand i'm going to select launch new instance now initial url over here you will provide what is the url that you are going to use for the web form filling over here what i'm going to do i'm going to provide http slash localhost slash employee registration dot html this is the web form which i'm going to use for the web form filling all right now if you see over here windows state there are having three modes over here one is normal mode maximize another one is minimize normal mode in sense you will open the window of the google chrome in the normal state or else if you want in the maximize then you will select maximize and after that if you want in the minimized way you can open the browser in the minimized way now what i will do i will select this in the maximized way because of i want the window of the entire screen that's the reason i'm going to select maximize all right now i will go for the advanced parameters now if you observe the advanced parameters i'm having clear cache clear cookies and wait for the page to load and after that if you see if a pop up dialog appears i will explain you all these things one by one right now clear cache what it will do it will clear the data which is already available as part of the browsing it will clear the caches as well as the cookies which is available on your browser as well as on your local because of for the, sometimes that you are getting the data based on your cache as well as the cookies based on that so every time if you want to clear the cookies at that time you are going to use this one these two options for cache as well as the cookies the real time scenario if you ask let us assume if i want to give user name and password let us assume if i'm going to work with the gmail once you have given the user name and the password and then you have logged into the gmail what will happen for the next time it won't ask you to give the username and passwords again it will directly redirect to the gmail page into your inbox right in that case what happened there are the few steps it will be missed out that is one is login pages related right i need to start from the scratch in that case i want to clear this username and passwords where it has been stored in the cache or cookies in that case you are going to use you are going to enable these two options that is clear cache clear cookies as of now i don't want to use these two options because of there's no such a kind of login pages that i have that i'm going to store the data all right now wait for page load now what is this option why this option has to be enabled if you observe what will happen for the login and the inbox sometimes it will takes a lot of time to load the page or else i'm going to give http localhost employee registration dot html page what will happen it will take some time to load the data but our flow is in step wise right so what will happen step 1 step 2 step 3 and so on it will be load very faster and i need to wait until the page has been loaded that's the reason i will ask for wait for page load the as a best practice make it enabled over here wait for the page load because of it will it won't go to the next step until the entire page has been loaded successfully all right now if you see over here another parameter i'm having if a pop up dialog appears let us assume if there are some cases that we have if there is any pop ups are coming like allow on block click on okay close it some kind of pop ups i will get it at that time what i will do i have to do nothing or press a button or close it what kind of button i need to press it on the top of that one or else if i need to close it i will close it or if i don't want to do anything i will do nothing these are all the advanced parameters which we have as part of the launch new chrome all right now 
once we launch a new Chrome, what will happen? The instance will be stored in the particular flow variable that is browser. Now, if you see over here, variable produce, that will be created once we click on save. Now, what I will do, I will rename it over here as Google browser to make understand. All right, now let's click on save. Now, if you see, there's a variable named Google browser has created under the flow variables. All right, let's click on save. Now, what I will do to make you understand, let me run the flow, how it will work for the launch new Chrome. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see a new window has been opened in the Google Chrome. Along with that, if you see it has been waited till the page load has been done. All right. And if you see, observe over here, this entire window has been maximized. Now let me make a small change over here. If you see over here, I want in the normal mode. Let me click on save. Now, once again, I will show you how we, it will be in the normal mode. All right. Now, if you see, this is the normal mode what we have. This is not the maximizer of the Google Chrome. All right. Now, let's click on close. Now, if you see over here, I have launched a new Google Chrome. And I need to perform some of the actions over here for the web form filling. All right. Before that, I will show you how to close the Chrome also, which has been created. A new instance has been created as part of the launch new Chrome. For each and every browser that we are having only one action that we have, that is close web browser. Let me drag and drop this close web browser onto the workspace. And if you see the parameters over here, web browser instance. If you have opened multiple browsers like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome and whatnot, in that case, it will give the drop down over here which browser you need to close. Right now, I am having only one instance that is Google Chrome that I have selected that and then I'm going to click on save. Now, this close web browser, what it will do, once the instance of the Google Chrome launch, at the end of the flow, it will close the instance of the particular browser. Now, I will show you. So, let me run the flow once again. Flow execution started. Now, if you see, it has opened a new browser and it is in the maximizer mode. And after that, it has been closed successfully by using web browser. Let me show you once again by clicking on run. Now, if you see, that much faster it has been launched a new window. And after that, it has closed the web browser by using launch new Chrome web action as well as close web browser web action.